guys, welcome to a new video and today I wanted to talk about how you can make the most out of your wardrobe, your existing wardrobe that you have right now. We live in a day and age where more and more people are interested in uh, conscious consumerism, being more mindful of what they purchase, the amount of stuff that they own, the quality of the stuff that they own and their overall footprint. When it comes to conscious consumerism and clothing, the very best thing you can do is to just rewear the clothing that you already have until it absolutely cannot be used anymore. Even before purchasing secondhand and purchasing from eco-friendly stores, reusing what you already have and not buying any more is the best thing you can do. So today I wanted to give you some tips on how you can rediscover the pieces that you already have in your wardrobe, learn how to look at them with fresh eyes, maybe style them in a little bit of a different way and make sure that you can keep using them for a few years to come until they have completely served their purpose and are ready to be discarded in a responsible way. I have always reworn my clothes a lot and definitely not because I was super eco-conscious. I mean, that's definitely a thing of more recent years, but I was never someone who could or wanted to spend a lot of money on new clothing. So I will always just re-wear what I already had. I really enjoy rewiring pieces that were owned by family members before and styling them in a way that they suit my personal style and kind of modern fashion. And in fact, some of my most worn pieces are things that I have owned since high school or university. So I wanted to share my top tips let's get started straight away the first tip i have is to take care of your basics and that starts with defining what your basics are so this very much depends on your style your personal preferences what it is that you find comfortable and what you prefer to wear generally speaking items to consider in this category are things like a black turtleneck for example a white blouse a good pair of jeans a flattering plain white t-shirt. The things that are timeless and can be worn over and over again and combined in countless different outfits. And also the pieces that you can use as a base for maybe more statement pieces or more kind of style sensitive, fashion sensitive pieces. You can always combine them with your basics. The basics that you already own and have in your wardrobe, try to take care of them as best as you can. Be mindful of the care label, wash them properly, don't use too high of a heat, try and avoid tumble drying your clothes, don't wash your clothing too often but also be sure to not let any stains dry in. If any of your staples are wool items be sure to shave them regularly, get rid of the pilling and just give them the care that they need in order to thrive and look good for as long as possible. If there are any basics missing from your closet, things that you really feel you need and currently don't have and things that you miss quite regularly or maybe there are some basics that are due to be replaced in that case try and find some maybe at a thrift store um, see if any of your friends or family members have any of these items that they no longer use or wear or look for some eco-conscious retailers to buy them from especially if you are going to buy something new be really mindful of the material that your item is made of try to avoid synthetics like acrylic and polyester because not only are they less durable but they also tend to be too cold in winter too hot in the summer and they release microplastics look for natural materials preferably especially if this is an item that you intend to keep for a very long time my next tip in order to make the most of your wardrobe is to organize your wardrobe in a way that it is functional to you. So I personally really like to organize my clothing by type and color. So I have all of my hanging clothes where I know I have my blouses and dresses and jackets or kind of blazers and then I have a drawer full of tops, t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts. All of my sweaters are folded up in a separate drawer again and I have one drawer that's full of all of my bottoms which are then separated into trousers and skirts and this for me makes it easier to combine them in the morning. I will usually pick out one piece that I want to wear that day and then I will reach for for example a black t-shirt or a white blouse to combine with it. It also just gives you a little bit of a better overview of what you actually have and it makes it harder for items to get lost in your closet. My next tip is something that I like to call the matching game and this has helped save garments so many times in my wardrobe. Basically when I have an item that I find very hard to combine like for example I have these brown paper bag trousers which I absolutely love but I find them so hard to style I just don't know what to pair them with I have like two standard tops that I wear it with but I feel like I could get a lot more out of these trousers if I knew how to combine them so what I like to do in the matching game is to put on the difficult item and then combine it with 
all of the possible counter pieces that I have. So in this example, I'm using some trousers, which means I'm going to be putting on all the tops I own. All of them. Well, maybe not all of them. Since these are long trousers of a kind of medium weight fabric, I'm going to combine it with tops that would be suitable for maybe like autumn time weather, maybe mild winter. No matter if I think it will look good or not, I'm just gonna put it all on and then see whether it does actually look good or not. Of course, some combinations will be absolutely horrifying and some will be surprisingly good. Some you just feel meh about and some will be absolutely amazing in a very unexpected way. For example, I would personally never, ever, ever have paired brown with a lilac, but seeing this outfit on myself now, I am surprised by how good this looks. It works so great. It's a fantastic way to find new pairings in your wardrobe. It's a little bit time consuming to do, but it's also really, really fun. So if you ever have some spare time on a weekend or on an evening, try and do the matching game, see what you can come up with. My next tip is for items that maybe don't really work for you as well, the way they are now. Try and see if it's possible to change the silhouette. Some items can be very easily improved by just adding a belt to cinch it in at the waist or adding an item on top like a jacket or maybe a skirt. I have a bunch of these long sweaters. Uh, are they a long sweater? Are they a sweater dress? I don't know. It's kind of an awkward length on me. I didn't really know what to do with them for a long time until I tried to put a skirt on top and it actually works fantastically with that because they are quite tight and form-fitting on the top. Now I get so much more wear out of them plus they are extra warm around the all important belly and pelvic area, <laughs> which you do want to keep warm during winter. But you could also try maybe tucking in a t-shirt that isn't the most flattering piece, or you could tie a knot in it here or there. Try and play around, see if you can alter the piece just by changing the silhouette and see if you find it more usable in that way. My next tip is also for items that you have kind of fallen out of love with maybe and that is to make tiny alterations to make them fresh and new and exciting again so you can think of things like changing the buttons adding you know new buttons onto an outfit maybe taking in the hem a little bit or actually letting out the hemline to make the garment a little bit longer maybe just full-on getting it tailored to suit your body shape better but if there are little alterations that you can make to an item to make it more your taste. Maybe if you have something that was a fashionable silhouette five years ago, but is no longer that, and it's very easy to change, then try and do that and give the garment a second life in your wardrobe. If you have any clothes that are slowly starting to get discolored over time, but that's the only problem with them, then you can always try and dye them at home. There are fabric dyes available that are very easy to use. I know here in the Netherlands we have a brand that you just throw in the washing machine with the clothing and it dyes your clothes inside the washer. But there are other methods available as well. So you can think of things like faded black jeans. Those are really easy to re-dye black just using one of those methods, or maybe white t-shirts that have a little bit of an armpit stain maybe that you can't get out. You could dye those in a darker color, make them gray or navy or whatever color you prefer. Just know that re-dyeing your clothes is an option. My next tip, if you normally don't do this, try and add some accessories to your outfit. And I'm not talking jewelry necessarily. Of course, you can do that as well. I'm personally not a huge jewelry person. For some people, this works absolutely amazingly well. I'm thinking more along the lines of adding a hat or a scarf or a belt. You'd be surprised by how much a little change like that can actually transform an outfit. And then of course, you can use that accessory for many, many different outfits as well. And oftentimes you can use accessories in different ways as well, especially scarves. You could wear them around your neck or in your hair, tie them in different ways. There are so many options. So. See if this is something that you can do in your closet as well. Another thing you could do is to invite in a fresh set of eyes. So ask a friend or a relative to come over and take a look at your wardrobe and just make outfits, um, preferably to make outfits that they haven't seen you wear yet, but just, you know, to have a rummage through and see how they would combine your clothing. The other person might have a completely different style to yours and might just have very different ideas of how you can wear certain items and it might help you 
to, again, think of new ways that you can combine your already existing clothing. Then, of course, in turn, you can visit their house, look at their closet and do the same for them. It's a really fun thing to do and a very fun way to rediscover your closets. Now, the last tip I have for this video is if you find a good outfit anywhere throughout this process or just anywhere throughout your life, take a photo of it so that you remember exactly what you were wearing and repeat that outfit. I'm a huge advocate for outfit repeating. Whenever I find a killer outfit that just looks amazing on me, that I feel very confident in, and that I get complimented on, I will wear it again and again and again. I've never quite understood the whole rule of not repeating outfits. It makes no sense to me at all. If you find a good outfit, that's amazing. It's a unique experience. <laughs> you should savor it and you should enjoy it and you should wear that outfit. I am a much bigger fan of the um, almost cartoon character uniform, you know, just wearing the same thing all the time, then trying to wear new outfits every day if that's not necessarily something that brings you joy or something that you are able to do. And I feel like nowadays that is not something that we should want to do at all. If you find a good outfit, capture it and repeat it, wear it over and over and enjoy it and love it and feel amazing. So that's it guys, those are my tips on how to make the most out of your already existing wardrobe. I really hope you found these tips helpful and that you enjoyed the video. If you have any tips that I haven't mentioned in this video, please feel free to leave them below, we can all inspire each other. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!